pool of blood. This is where I killed him. Several wounds on the left side of the chest, in the area of the heart. They appear to be knife wounds. No trace of a struggle. Looks like the guy was taken totally by surprise. A table knife covered in blood. Obviously the murder weapon. Killer used his silverware to stab his victim? That would seem to indicate that the murder wasn't premeditated. Tyler, I want you to verify that Garrett has lifted the prints off this knife handle. Have him check out the blood on the blade as well. Okay. Why is there blood here? Did you find anything? Possibly. I don't understand why there would be blood here. Maybe it belongs to the victim. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it. Then we'll know for sure. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. Man, stab some dude in the toilets? You gotta be crazy. This guy took a big risk. Anybody could have walked in here and surprised him. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? He wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Maybe it was a revenge thing. Or a psycho. This town is full of psychos. They're everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they could take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up for two minutes? Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but he's a good guy. Did you find anything, Tyler? For that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, we're good. Let's head home. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you take it out for Prince? You got it, Carla. Oh, well, the coffee's not on the bill. A cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone.
Killer is wounded. Zarathustra by Nietzsche. <laughs> that should help my migraine. Notice reads, don't take with alcohol. Marcus and me, before the accident. My wrists are still bloody. Gotta do something about that.
good to hear from you. I thought I'd call to find out if maybe you wanted to go to Mom and Dad's tomb together. And, to be honest, I thought it might be a good excuse to get back in touch with you. I need to see you, Marcus. I'm in big trouble. What are you talking about, Lucas? What happened? I can't really talk about it on the telephone. It's serious, Marcus. I'll meet you in half an hour at the park. See you there. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after I leave the hospital and pick up a few things. Well, call me back. Yesterday, at 7.30 p.m. Lucas, it's Tiffany. I thought maybe I'd pop over tomorrow night after... The clothes that I was wearing last night, they're covered in blood. I better not leave them there. New York Police, please open the door. These images in my head, I must be losing my mind.
body of a man was discovered in the restroom of an East End restaurant. The victim was stabbed several times with a steak knife. While just yards away, other customers were calmly eating their meals. Investigators are already on the trail of a suspect who fled the scene just before the body was discovered. Police have no other comment for the time being, but stay tuned for updates into this. After what happened last night, I'm not really in the mood to play the guitar. Please open the door. The police. They know. They, they've come to arrest me. Police! Open up! Just a minute, I'm coming! I can't let them find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Sir, this is the New York police. I must insist that you open this door. Just a second, I'm looking for the keys! the door right now, I will be forced to knock it down. This is your last warning. Open the door now, or I knock it down. Just a second, I'm looking for the keys! Don't move! And that's how my story ends. The neighbors called the cops because they heard shouts coming from my apartment. It didn't take long for them to find evidence of my guilt and link me up to the murder in the restaurant. Now I'll never find out what really happened. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, I'm just a murderer. Thank <laughs> you.